your team. Could you talk a little bit about your final days on uh, Grey's Anatomy? <laughs> Thank you for bringing that back up. Uh, you know, the show's doing really well. We were number one on uh, Thursday night, so it continues to get a lot of legs. I mean, ABC hasn't had a, a show this year that has kind of stepped up. We're certainly talking about the future. The biggest point for me in negotiations is getting time off to come race. So if I don't miss races, I'll probably stay on Grey's Anatomy. But we'll see. You know, I've been very fortunate to have uh, been a part of such a successful show. That doesn't come along a lot. Appreciate it uh, very much, and yeah, hopefully we can reach an agreement where everybody benefits from it, and we can continue on. You know, we've had tremendous support from the fans. Uh, we're still doing quite well in the ratings. Uh, you know, when you look at uh, what's going on in the world right now, I'm very fortunate to have a job, and uh, I don't want to disrespect that. And I have to take that uh, very seriously. It certainly helps with the racing. Um, and that's my real passion, but I also enjoy the show as well, and uh, it keeps me in town so I can be around my family. So we'll see. Hopefully we can work it out. How do you feel being here? Oh, it's great to be back. Uh, tough day yesterday, but we've recovered. I thank the, the crew. They did a great job uh, last night and this morning to get the car ready for us. Um, really nice to be out to uh, get back in the car after a long break and just uh, get comfortable in the car, you know, slowly progress up, uh, working on the setup. Cars coming along. Um, but really excited to be here for 50 year anniversary. I think it's going to be really exciting. It's going to be great for the fans. You're seeing more fans already uh, that are around the track, even at the test this year, which is great. Uh, the quality of the drivers that are here, uh, you know, the, the new uh, manufacturers that are here as well, I think it's really great for the sport, and certainly for Grand Am uh, and the GT series in general. So, you know, we're looking forward to enjoying the 24 hours. Hopefully, we get some luck that goes our way. Um, we stay out of trouble, and uh, you know we're there at the end to uh, keep competing once again for a really solid finish and getting on the top step issue. Uh, one more question before you go to your colleagues. Uh, you talk about quality. We put together with our friends at Daytona a special ticket package for the second year in a row. Uh, a big portion of the, the ticket sales will go to some causes that are very near to your heart. Talk a little bit about uh, how cool it is to be working with Daytona again on that and uh, who it will help. Yeah, I want to thank Daytona for supporting us on this ticket package. It's $65, and then uh, part of that money goes to the Dempsey Center for Cancer, Hope, and Healing in the uh, Seattle Children's Hospital as well. We've been consistent with these two charities uh, since we started racing. It's something that we will continue to do here at Dempsey Racing. And, um, you know, it's, it's really special if we can uh, help people in that way. I know back home at the center, people who are you know, fighting cancer in their family, you know, all the treatment that we give them is free, so that the money that we raise really makes a difference uh, in their lives. And certainly, certainly the work in Seattle is being done for the children there, uh, all the doctors, it's very, very moving. And we're, I think probably you know, this is the most important part of our racing program, and is to bring attention to those two causes and the money that we raise. We really, really appreciate it from the fans who get those tickets and we'll spend time with them and, and make an enjoyable experience and, and make them feel like they're part of Another, no pun intended, another gear that you can get into this year to maybe move up a, another couple of notches? Yeah, I think this year um, we had a really strong start here. Uh, we just need to keep uh, with the consistency throughout the season to get a championship. Um, I'm really happy to have the team that we have this year together. I think the chemistry is really good. I think we all sort of approach this sport the same way. We have a good time, but we're very professional. Uh, I think that's the key is we just need to be consistent. We've been close. We've been up there fighting for a championship, but now it's really going to be about, you know, how consistent we can, can be get that week in, week out of these races. Um, we're expanding the program, which is great to see. Um, we wanted to do that. We want to grow in a way that we can stay, sustain being in uh, this sport, um, and hopefully we can do that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really proud. I think Joe's done a phenomenal job with the team. Um, and, and making sure that I've been protected and developed in a way where we're gaining credibility. And I think at the end of the day, that's the most important thing for this team, is to be respected uh, on and off the track um, and to conduct ourselves as gentlemen uh, in whatever situation we find ourselves in. Uh, that buzzer means our time is up.